you, the reason you want to have a PR rep and the reason you want to have a sales rep is because at a festival situation, things are moving so fast that you can't afford to be going through a learning curve in that situation. You absolutely, as a filmmaker, you have to have someone who has done this so many times before. And, and you know, like Leslie can ask Kenny Turan, what did you think of the film? If you are a filmmaker, first time to Sundance, you walk up to Kenny Turan, well, hey, what'd you think? He's not gonna tell you, right? He <laughs> has an established relationship with Leslie and Leslie can do that, um, you know, very, very quickly, get accurate information to Jessica um, and, and and Jessica, you know, and, and if Jessica and I are having a conversation, um, there's a shorthand because yeah. we've done deals together before. Um, there's a shorthand that acquisition execs and dist distribution execs and marketing execs have with um, with 42 West and, and PR reps. And that shorthand is essential because, you know, festival days, um, you know, for us, you know, they start at 8 a.m. They usually end at, at the earliest at 2 a.m. Um, on the first few days of the festival, each individual in acquisitions is watching six movies a day. Um, and when we're in a negotiation, all bets are off. You could be up all night long um, and, um, and everything's moving too fast for you to go through a learning curve. And and so you need to have the well, Jessicas and, and the Leslies. And with and frankly without us sometimes, you know, you won't get those you won't get Jason at your screening, you know, yep. because he doesn't know about your film or it hasn't been put on his radar, you know, with enough time to understand. And again, we we can navigate you don't need to see the premiere. You can go see the one the next day because it's a smaller film or we know it might not sell at the festival because just because it doesn't sell at the festival doesn't mean it's not going to sell. There's a long life to a lot of these movies. And yeah, even I mean, even if still the, movies selling from Sundance. Even know? if the legacy later on, like five years later, it sold at Sundance. Half the time it yeah. sold in the three months afterwards. Right. That's, right. But it was seen at Sundance. It was seen at Sundance, but still it doesn't all have to. So many of the big movies we've... And your sales agent and your publicist can help you navigate right. that and they can help manage your expectations. There are certain films that that should and need to sell at the festival. And there are others that can take their time and figure out the right and appropriate home. And they might not be as, um, they might not have the, the talent that drives a sale at the festival or, you know, there's a variety of reasons why, why things don't sell right away. So that's part of the process. 